But that scandal now rocking D.C. public schools. There's a new audit into the graduation problems at Ballou High, and the report says the problem started at the top. Now, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser admits she could have done better. Here's Delia Gonsalves with a story that's new tonight. D.C. Public Schools has a chancellor, but really the mayor is in charge and says she will hold him accountable. But the big takeaway from this first audit report, lots of people dropped the ball and the students and now principal at Ballou seem to be paying for it. The audit found 63% of Ballou's graduating class should have never received diplomas because they missed so much school and didn't make the grade. Investigators say teachers were pressured by administrators to pass those students. The principal, she was placed on leave. Now she has lost her job. She will be replaced. But the pressure to pass students as part of a teacher and schools evaluation, that came straight from the top. The mayor says she implemented that policy two years ago, but failed to train teachers and administrators. We've never really put in place the training controls or accountability to support it. The mayor, of course, is accountable. The buck stops with her. The question, though, is are we all accountable and how do we all engage in a meaningful way? Now, this audit only came about after an NPR WAMU report back in November. Chancellor Wilson today says he does not recall being told about those concerns before the news report. But I just spoke to Councilmember Robert White, who confirms he did speak to the chancellor months before the news broke and Baloo's graduation scandal was one of the many topics they discussed at that meeting. Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9. Now many say this problem goes beyond Baloo. Delia has spent the last few weeks looking into accountability at all DC schools. You'll see her investigation tomorrow night on the news at 11.